Okay, so today we're making a fluid swivel joint for a hand drill drill pipe. I have a 2 by 3 that I hollowed it out a little bit bigger so it would fit over the pipe, over this pipe here. Fits over that. Nice, easy, right there. So that's a, a 3 by 2. Then we got a piece of 3 inch PVC pipe. A two by three by three T, another piece of PVC pipe, and the other two by three. Okay, I'm gonna glue them all together and I'll get back with you. Okay, so there we have it. It's all put together. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that pipe. I sure hope this works because I've never done anything like this. I've never drilled a well, but I come up with this idea. We slide this pipe over. Don't glue it or nothing, just leave it like that. Then this pipe here is going to spin inside of here. See? Pipe spinning. Now before you uh, put your pipe on, or in the swivel, I went down and bought me two bath shoe gaskets. And I'm going to use them in there as bushings to help seal the water. So you're going to take this, you got to get it shoved in here. Shove it in here and get it over your pipe and get it over your pipe there okay okay so I hope you can see that but I got the seals in there the bushings takes a little bit of finesse and I had to grind mine down just a little bit because uh, the diameter was too big on the outside inside diameter fits real good around the pipe I just wanted it was too big around the outside up against this 3 by 3 by 2 T. See, and then this will rotate. And the other thing I had to end up doing is I ended up putting some, spraying some uh, olive oil on it. Don't be use motor oil or any kind of. Uh, Automotive oil, you want to use uh, vegetable oil or something like that, otherwise, it'll get down in your well. Okay, so next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, it's the long coupler, but I'm going to take and cut just a little bit off it, about a half inch or so. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip it down here and I'll glue it right here, but I have to be real careful not to get any glue on my slip joint, on my swivel. I'm just going to put a little bit of this right here, and that'll keep a swivel from sliding up and down. Okay, the other thing you got to do when you put these in, so I took my, my Dremel tool, run around in there, so that you can white it out just a little bit so it slips over there nice. Okay, so there you have it. Got the top ring on here. Top ring on, bottom ring on here. That'll keep my. I'll pull them. I'm gonna pull them down tight, of course, or snug, or touching. Maybe leave a quarter inch gap or something. Top and bottom. See, and then this will swivel. I'm gonna pipe a swivel. I can hook. I can hook my water, my uh, uh, water pump, onto here. Pump water down the hole. The only thing left I gotta do is inside, I'm gonna take and drill these holes. Drill some holes in this pipe right here so the water will go down the hole.
Okay, so there you have it. Got my, I can put my uh, pump hose on here, two inch pump hose. See the pipe swivels. Okay, so now we just got through drilling the holes in the pipe. One design flaw I did is I put this top, I had to take this top ring off so that I could slide my pipe up and down and get some holes drilled in so the water would have plenty of flow. Okay, so now I hope you can see down in here, but I got my holes drilled. You can see one right there. There's one right there. Pick up a hole, Bill. Like I said, I slid this pipe up and down a little bit. And so that I didn't have all my holes in one spot and make it narrow or uh, make it weak. So, well, there you have it. We're going to give it a try tomorrow. And hopefully it works. I got to drill a monitoring well. My name's Lonnie, and they call me Mr. Fix It. And we'll talk to you later. Hope it works. Bye.